Hello, Teacher Kim here. So day two of the YouTube challenge. Uh, these are a few of my favorite teaching things. You notice, I don't have anything in my hands. Um, that's because I don't use a lot of props and all. Um, the classes I teach are mostly private tutoring. So I use Kindle a lot. Um, and I pull books from Kindle whether it's a lower level child and I pull level one, level two reading books, um, step into reading are my favorites because I like the way they're worded. I like the way they put things, they make it easy for kids to understand. Um, the other books I use, um, I use storybooks that I get off of Kindle Unlimited. I use Kindle Unlimited because it saves me money. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I use a lot of storybooks. I use a lot of lower level reading books. I use a lot of upper level chapter books. I either buy them or I'd use them from Kindle Unlimited. Um, I've read a lot of the same books over and over, uh, with the students because they all tend to want to read certain things together. Um, <clears throat> but you know, it's great. Um, I use Kindle a lot. The other thing I use a lot when I'm teaching right now is education.com. If you haven't seen their website, it is got some great resources on there. It is leveled according to grade level or skill. Um, so you can kind of search for the skill you're looking for. You can search for the grade level appropriate. Um, and then I can screen share through Zoom to share my screen and share the worksheets with my students. I enjoy it a lot because, like I said, they're already leveled for you. I can pull those up while I'm in the middle of working with a student. Oh, let's focus on this skill and, and change things up easily. Um, the other thing I use a lot, other than, of course, Manicam, when I'm recording this on, because I do pull a lot of things from Manicam, um, especially with younger kids. You know, you want to make them laugh or something. So you might pull something up different and just be silly. Uh, I do use Manicam quite a bit, um, but the other thing I use is ABCYA, ABCYA.com, um, for games. So with, if I'm on Zoom, I can share my screen and I can allow my student to control my screen. There's a remote control button that you can allow the student to control your screen, um, and it's great for games. So there's a lot of educational, well, actually, all of ABCYA is educational games. Some edge games are more subject specific than others, but they're all educational. Um, so I use that a lot because I can either do a focused game on a skill I want to work on, or I can just let them have fun at the end of class. Um, a lot of time is the reward. You know, they worked hard all class. They've done a great job. And so I want them to be rewarded with something fun for the last few minutes of class. Um, so it, and most of the kids look forward to doing something fun at the end of class as well. I do have some kids who don't want to do something fun. So we may read like the whole entire class and ask questions. Um, <clears throat> I also will pull sometimes comprehension questions online. If I'm reading a book with a student, most of the time I can ask the higher level thinking questions without help, without looking it up. Um, one of the other programs I use teaching a lot is Canva. I make a little, I make presentations weekly with Canva for my, uh, one of my classes, um, my big Nate classes. So I use Canva a lot, um, for that and for different reasons. You can make so many things on Canva. I do pay for the pro, um, just because I like having all the options and blue kit, blue kit is B L O O K E T.com. It is a great game website for kids. So I use it a lot because the kids get the questions kind of like a hoot, except for they get the questions repeatedly. So they really understand the material by the end. They get to have the question over and over, but they also get to compete. They compete with each other and they compete with you to get high scores. There's different games on Blue Kit you can host and play. Um, there's like deceptive dinos and there's crypto hack so they hack each other and steal each other's money there's gold quests where you keep trading and swapping money um there's like factory where you um try to get the most what's called bloops little characters 
Um, it's just lots of things you can do on their cafe, all kind of stuff. Um, but the kids really enjoy it. They can play it on their own device. They do not have to be signed up to anything to use it. It is free to use for them and for us, for teachers. Um, I make a, with one of the classes I teach, I make a uh, game each week and we play it at the end of our class and it kind of makes the end of class really fun. We have fun throughout the whole class, but it makes the end of class really fun and they love competing against each other. Um, so most of my teaching things are websites. So in case you didn't catch them, I use Canva a lot, <clears throat> Blue Kit, ABC, uh, education .com. Um, I use Kindle a lot and yeah, it's just lots of online resources that really help to help my classroom to be uh, as good as I want it to be and it gives me lots of resources to use. Thanks for watching. Bye.